Hey everyone, Tom here today. Today I thought I would show you how to get a Mac OS X cursor for Windows, um, plus how to get to Notepad as well when you can't get to it. So first of all, I'm going to start off with the cursors. Go to this website, I will leave the link in the description, and click here to download the file. I'm not going to download the file because I already have the file. But I'm going to install it again just for you guys. Then go to, um, so here it is. It's what it, it's um, called when you download it. It's a bit of a weird install, you can tell that it's uh, uh, being made by uh, an enthusiast because he, they always do it in this polite way. So, click yes to continue, click next, and as you can see, it's a no nonsense install at all, it just goes along very quickly, and you don't have to do that much uh, either. Then, click finish, and what will happen is is it will uh, pause. it will bring you up with a box and it will actually install um, something into the menu called Mac OS X. So all you have to do is just select that and and uh, oh yeah. So now as you can see, I have a Mac OS X cursor. Um, when I open up a program, I get the little um little globe up the side. So yeah, that's a nice little thing. So if you want that I'll leave that in the description for you. Um the second thing I wanted to show you was if you're like me and you live in England, you may find when you go to your um public library that when you go to start and by the way this is just a fact, most libraries in England usually have Windows XP so probably won't even look anything like this but anyway you go to accessories and you'll find that when you want to get to notepad that it's not there so pretend that's not there and it's just not there but one thing they do have enabled is wordpad so I'm going to show you how to um, I'm just going to show you how to get to notepad without having the actual shortcut there and we do this through a batch file. So all you have to do is basically type notepad.exe then go to save as I'm just waiting for this I'm going to say to the desktop I'm going to put it to um, what you're going to want to put it to is text document MS-DOS format. Click that. Click save. That's that's okay. Just um, click yes. Um. Oh no! Hang on. Sorry, I messed up. Hey everyone. Yeah. Sorry, I I messed up a bit there. So what you want to do? Sorry. Is go to save as. You want to put it in just wherever, um, wherever it's possible. MS DOS. Okay, hang on. I'm going to have to enable something. Um, hang on a second. Hi everyone. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm messing up a bit today. Um, Okay, this is a bit ridiculous. Yeah, you see, what I'm trying to do is, is um, I've enabled, I've, en I've taken off hide file extensions, but I can't seem to do it. Okay, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to save this as a text document, and I'll say save. Uh, yes. Okay, 
when you're in the library, you should be able to just simply um, name it a, 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 a dot back file, but I can't do this today. So what I'm going to do is just simply take off the dot text and make it dot back. But this won't happen to you if um, I'm, I remember this is if you live in England. Chances are it's probably different in America and other countries. So yeah. Right, so you get the little um, dot .bat file, double click it, and here we are. So, command pops open, you can just go right ahead and and exit out of that, and then you can just use your uh, notepad then. Um, so, yeah, and I believe with a dot .bat file, uh, what it is with it uh, really is that it I don't know, I think it seems to take the command, uh, the commands from within the file and it executes them for you. So it's kind of like using run, except of course you won't have run when you're on a, a computer for library or something. I'm going to be doing another video after this, but um, so just so that I don't waste my time, so you know, I, I end up um, having gone over the time limit. I'm just going to stop this video and then do the next video. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope this has been some help to you. Please comment, rate and subscribe. Bye for now. See you in a little minute.